facilities preparations here in Giga, Texas for Cybertruck. Um, we're still on track to enter uh, early production in the middle of next year. For three years now, the Tesla Cybertruck has remained a mythical beast, which always drove buyers crazy to have to wait so long. However, there are many signs that it is indeed approaching. The recently leaked Cybertruck spy video seems to reveal Cybertruck's flashy and novel designs. So how has the highly anticipated pickup changed over time? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. So we, we are making uh, Model Ys, um, some of the Model Ys coming out of. For a pickup truck, good brakes are critical. If you're on the highway with a bed filled with building materials, all that extra weight adds strain to your braking system. And you'll soon discover that they don't work quite the same way you anticipated when traffic comes to a sudden halt, which could potentially put you in a very messy and dangerous situation. Tesla has taken a big step in upgrading the braking system in the Cybertruck. Brembo is Tesla's supplier of choice for brakes. Brembo announced that next year, they will launch a new type of brake system unlike any other system available today. Experts consider this system, which Brembo calls Sensify, as the biggest breakthrough in braking since anti-lock brakes appeared 40 years ago. With today's ABS, when you step on the pedal, pressure is distributed evenly to all four wheels, either directly or by wire via an external pressure source and often with a front-to-rear proportioning valve. Then, if traction is lost on one or more of the tires, a valve on a central hydraulic controller relieves some pressure on the slipping wheels to regain traction. Drivers feel pulsations, as does the chassis. Thus, Brembo's Sensify will be an effective solution. Um, they're electromechanical, and it's just a motor that pushes in a piston, and that puts the brake pressure on the wheel. So this is really good. Brembo's Sensify system is braking for the centrally controlled software-defined vehicle. It consists of control units that direct braking independently at each corner in response to the driver's input on the brake pedal force sensor. Precise control of each wheel's instantaneous brake pressure allows the brakes to help with yaw control in ways that simple bleeding pressure can't. Installing Sensify on a pickup truck's brakes promises unprecedented safety and stability. Another notable change is the taillight of the Cybertruck. But what special changes does it have exactly? It seems that the Cybertruck design is also being retooled in the tooling phase as Tesla sets up the production space and installs the machine equipment for its manufacturing. A recent undercover footage from the Austin, Texas Gigafactory shows that Tesla has significantly redesigned the rear lighting of the Cybertruck. The new tail light strip in particular is now quite different from what Elon Musk rode on earlier in the year. Instead of just a thin red LED strip, the brake light is now enriched with two thicker orange side lines as well, necessitating the widening of the black bar beneath the central strip. The light pattern has also changed, with three shorter sections illuminated in the side's orange hue. That's how Tesla may have been planning it all along, but it's the first time that we are seeing the new rear design in action. There are also two reverse lights on both sides of the number plate, hinting that this might be the final design that will end up in the retail unit. Next, for the new crop of electric trucks, four-wheel steering seems to be the hot new feature, which Elon Musk had initially announced the Cybertruck's rear-wheel steering features on Twitter. In his post, Musk stated that the function was added to ensure that the Cybertruck could accomplish right turns and maneuver with high agility. Four-wheel steering systems aid in Cybertruck maneuverability, helping to reduce a vehicle's turning circle significantly during parking and similar operations. Typically, at higher speeds, the rear wheels turn in the same direction as the front wheels, allowing for smooth gliding lane changes and the like. It also helps Cybertruck owners avoid dinging up their stainless steel panels when navigating into tight parking spaces. While some modern four-wheel steering systems allow for quite severe angles of the rear wheels up to 15 degrees, 
The crab walk mode on the GMC Hummer EV is perhaps the best example, with the vehicle driving practically diagonally when the system is engaged. Ford has some crazier ideas in mind, such as tucking the wheels in towards each other and driving them in opposing directions, allowing a duly equipped truck to potentially strafe left and right in a manner akin to an omnidirectional forklift. With Cybertruck being a direct competitor of the Hummer EV, it is sensible for Tesla to offer this feature to its customers to claim its fair share of the pickup truck market in the near future. As people eagerly wait to learn more about the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck, there has been plenty of talk about the electric pickup truck's windshield wiper blade. So, how will it be utilized on the new electric pickup? The single large wiper on the updated Cybertruck prototypes incited quite a bit of criticism among electric vehicle enthusiasts on social media. The Tesla CEO tweeted that the wiper is what troubles me most. No easy solution. Deployable wiper that stows in front trunk would be ideal but complex. As per the video of the Cybertruck's current prototypes in Gigafactory Texas, however, it appears that Tesla is already exploring something extremely practical for its all-electric pickup. The all-electric pickup truck's single giant wiper is actually comprised of two smaller regular-sized blades. The setup should make it extremely easy to replace the Cybertruck's wipers when needed. When it comes time for people to replace the wiper blades or swap them out for winter blades, they may be able to simply head to the local automotive parts store or shop online. It would likely cut costs and supply chain concerns by some normal and inexpensive replacements. Its placement on one side of the vehicle also suggests that owners would not need to jump on the tire and lean forward just to gain access to the wiper. In short, if Elon Musk didn't give you hope, these leaked videos will. The Tesla Cybertruck with a brand new appearance seems to be ready for production in 2023. How do you feel about the changes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.